And so, so annoying when that happens. Very, yeah, it is annoying and causing a lot of grief and sorrow to other people. They complain to Krishna, you got to do something with this person. And so what he did was he took one of her children, put it in a pomegranate, and gave her the pomegranate to eat. She ate it up, mm, delicious, and um, then realized that one of her children was missing because she did love her children. And then she realized that she had actually eaten one of her own children. And for the first time, she felt the sorrow and grief that she had been causing every, everybody else. So at that point, she decided to, she promised, she vowed that she would help children and she would protect uh, pregnant women and so that's what she did so this is in honor of her if you are pregnant you come here and you get a stone with nothing on it you look for a stone that has nothing written on it you take it home and you well you pray for a safe delivery take it home when you uh, give birth you write the name and the date of the birth and then get another stone, a clear stone from wherever, and then bring them back here and, and pray and give thanks that you had a safe delivery. Work for me, both my daughters. Uh, the amulets here are for, there are all kinds of things here. Ishizuchi, there's some, anyway. But um, some of them are to pray for protection for children that were born by by miscarriage or abortion, something like that. I don't see many bibs here. Often if you see a bib, that's also the same idea. It's a red bib. Mm. Yeah, okay. And it'll probably have the baby's name on it and the date of birth or the date of death. This is not that common, this whole Kaditemo Ten and this legend. I don't know. I haven't heard it.